going on guys welcome to the mustard seed episode 50 we are moving along 50 and uh let's uh talk about the walls of jericho and mm. how they fell and just from the mighty walls of jericho the shouting of the lord all right so the walls of jericho this was context of our early stories in the old testament um israel the people of israel are working through the desert finally after 40 years are out moving, of the desert moving. crossed over the Jordan and are about to enter the Holy Land um, before entering the Holy Land they come across Jericho and Jericho is this fortified city with large walls and they think all right how are we going to how are we going to cross into this this city and and the, destroy this city? two spies mm -hmm. and uh, what was her name um, Rohab yeah Rohab she took them in and promised that she could stay and her family and just uh, take in the um, everything with <clears throat> what was to come. Yeah, and uh, she put her life on yeah. the line, really. So, um, of course, the people of Jericho are strong, right? They're strong people, and the, they don't want to let their city get overtaken. And, and two spies come in, and this woman, Rohab, basically acknowledges that their Lord is among them and she helps them under or kind of like spy out the city she saw what was to come and she like yeah, yeah. took them in and let them live there and uh, helped out with Joshua on the outside with God giving him the information like rally your troops march March, 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 and then scream so that's like <laughs> I think that's what we should highlight there like that's such a wild thing and Jesus again the power of Jesus, the power of, you know, God and trusting in his word. And Joshua, who's leading this army of people and says, all right, how are we going to overthrow Jericho? And yeah, think about it. Get your troops and march around. March. He literally said, march around. So take the Ark of the Covenant. So the Ark, the Covenant is the presence mm -hmm. of God. And, and you got the priest out front. The priest out front, and they marched around the city walls. And J Joshua was told... Six days, march around the city walls. Don't say anything, just march. Six yeah. days. And, and then on the seven seventh time, day. Seven times around on the seventh day. Exactly. Right? On the seventh day, do it around seven times. And on the seventh run through, shout, right? <laughs> Let out your trumpets, scream and shout to the Lord, and the walls will come crumbling down. And I think that kind of asks again for some faith. We talked about that. They were promised also for how long. So those shouts came so much like they were promised land and they were traveling in the desert so those shouts had to be so loud like this is it guys we shout we are getting this town well, that is promised to us it is ours so those <laughs> shouts must have been like ah like <laughs> 50,000 times what my shout was to you know break down the walls and exactly you're right like think about that journey when it led up to that point for them to really feel so much behind it it is wild, though, when you jo say... Joshua must be a really good hype man. Like, <laughs> Pumping them all like, up. Get the troops. All right, guys, we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready for battle. All right, we're going to march around. Just march. <laughs> we're pretty much on strike. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, again, Veggie Tales. Mm. You silly little... Uh, what's the... Oh, man, what's the song there? Like, you silly little peas. You think you can march, march around and knock our walls down? <laughs> like, it's a... Uh, it, I think here it really highlights just the power of God and for us to embrace what we are asked to do even as crazy as it might seem or mm -hmm. you know if we're going through life and you know we're dealing with something and what's in front of us might not seem like the popular thing to do or what might not seem like a rational thing to do in some ways but to embrace what it is that God's will is for us and how he will provide walking around those walls and then all of a sudden he provides, and the walls came tumbling down. This and they had God's presence with them too. Oh, which of course. We forgot. So that probably was a big help. Yeah, which is still missing to this day. So if you find it, uh, Indiana Jones <laughs> is still searching yeah, for the still looking for it. <laughs> yeah, but it's a uh, a reminder to us again to to really listen to God's word, and to kind of embrace and just accept and realize the power of God and what he can do for us when we do embrace the Lord. And this was the start of the the Holy Land. Like they came over the Jordan 
once that fell, they took on everything else and continued and to just go. continue to grow the Holy Land. This was the land that was promised to Abraham, that was promised, you know, to Isaac, uh, to Moses, the people of Israel, and they finally got into the Holy Land. And it starts with this, with the fall of Jericho. Um, the the whole the whole idea of you know embracing and living with God really I felt gave them the strength to do all the things that they had to do and, and like you said think of all the people it was promised to and then they finally got it uh, with Joshua you know leading them yeah it's just like amazing way. like how it was, pro- it was promised for so long so they knew and they were able to keep everyone with them and keep the faith like don't worry God's saying we're getting this and they continued to believe and march and until they finally got to the walls of Jericho and, and it wasn't easy. No. I mean, we soon go so far into just the, the journey, the Exodus journey. And um, they were, 40 years ago, they were ready to get into the Holy Land. And it was that the spies that they sent out, they came back. And they all said, whoa, we can't go in there. These people are large. These people are strong. Mm-hmm. We're just a They're small in the desert. Think about it. that. And they're eating pre- probably like cows and chickens and they're eating scorpions yeah. something like that well, and manna yeah, yeah they're only living on manna right yeah. the, um, but they doubted they doubted Jesus they mm-hmm. said they doubted God and yeah. they said we can't do this but they were thinking of just their own strength and not God's strength and God was angry and he said how can you doubt me all the things that I've done for you so you're going to spend 40 more years in the desert so all those people had to pass away before they the younger generation is now ready to go and Joshua was one of the spies that had went into um, Jericho in the beginning. And now it's his turn to lead Israel into the promised land. So I guess he's asking us, you know, how can we be a Joshua? How can we be a leader um, for our people around us? You know, our friends and our family. How can we, you know, live in a way where we trust God and it's through our actions and through our loving, you know, words and, and thoughts that we can help inspire and grow and mm-hmm. build, bring people with us into the promised land so it's cool to connect and try and figure out different ways that these little stories kind of tie into who we are yep uh let's end in a little prayer let's do it the father son the holy spirit amen lord thank you for showing us that um our faith will be honored if we just keep believing if it's like one second five minutes to 40 years that you will provide for us when you tell us we're going to provide and we need to not doubt and we need to realize that you have our best interests in heart and showing us the story of everything with the covenant and Joshua and just getting everyone to listen and do everything. We appreciate everything that you do for us. Amen. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, just want to make sure you know it's not Chris Jericho, the walls of Jericho, the WWE superstar, <laughs> AEW star. <laughs> had to make that clear. Yeah, had to had to make that clear. You Definitely. Know, it's very confusing. <laughs> but um, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Episode 50. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you guys. Peace.